Hey, what's going on guys? This is your boy C. Will back to you with another video. We're going to be talking about some good stuff today. Yes, we will be talking about how to enable the resizable bar support and also if it's going to be even worth it. So let's get into this video. Okay guys, so here's the actual NVIDIA's website. Um, you can actually use this as a reference. Um, it actually goes into what is resizable bar. Um, you pretty much will know this by now. It talks about the installation steps. Um, and you could be able to read through this when you get a chance, but basically you have to do three things. Um, you have to make sure that you have the right chipset, the CPU and motherboard. Uh, so for what we'll be going over today is the X570, um, and the 5000 series, uh, AMD GPU. So I have X570 or it's master. And then I have the AMD 5800X. Um, the BIOS has to be updated on the motherboard. The BIOS has to be updated on the graphics card. And you also have to have the game ready driver version 465.89 install. Um, the, this was released on March the 30th, 2021. You know, man, once you have all these things done, you could be able to, to enable resizable bar and quote unquote, get a, you know, free performance, uh, better performance. So, and here's actually a list of games that's, that has support for the resizable bar. And so I chose games that were actually listed here, Assassin's Creed, Battlefield 5, Borderlands 3, Control, Cyberpunk, Death Stranding, Dirt 5, so on and so forth. And so the three that we we're gonna be looking at is Watch Dogs Legion, Assassin's Creed, Valhalla, and Borderlands 3. Those are the three that we'll be going over today in our testing. Uh, we have the vBIOS update. Um, so updating the actual BIOS on your graphics card, this is going to be determined based off of the manufacturer that you have and whether or not um, you know there's gonna be updates available. So depending on your manufacturer, you can go to their website. With uh, MSI, we have to update through the uh, MSI Dragon Center software. And so I'll show you what to do through that. Um, that's the only card I could be able to go over today because that's all I got. Um, now, if you have a Founders Edition, you can actually update that BIOS uh, through um, NVIDIA. And so they have that available as well. This also says here's to verify if the resizable bar is working um, and it'll show here. Um, and this is the actual system information viewer that's inside the NVIDIA control panel. Um, and so, yeah, so I'll make sure I put this link um, down in the description below. Let's get started. Okay, so just to let you all know, one of the things that I had to do, I actually had to go up here and click on, uh, when I hit scan the first time, um, it scanned and it didn't find anything. And then when I hit advance, it says monitor wheel flicker system scan, press yes to continue. So when I did that, that's how I was able to find out that, um, to get the actual latest uh, BIOS update for my car. I am updating my BIOS and it says plus Y to confirm I'm on the actual Dragon Center from a 3080. So let's do this, pretty scared. Okay, hit Y and it's doing its thing. So one thing I need to do, I'm updating my BIOS on the graphics card for the resizable bar. Said that the screen was going to flicker and it signed me out. And so we got it installed. Next thing that we need to do, I'm just gonna go here so you could be able to see. Okay, I went to drivers just so you could be able to see the latest version um, I have 46589 that is for March the 30th, 2021. Um, that has everything in it, including the resizable bar. Okay, so now I'm finally trying to update the BIOS um, in the motherboard. I updated the BIOS on the graphics card. We took care of that. And here we go. So after we do this, then we could be able to find out how to enable the resizable bar. Uh, so press the start. Let's do this to figure out where are these settings uh, for the resizable bar. And I believe it is up on AIO ports. Here we go. Okay. So if we go down here and it says resize bar support, let's change that to auto. 
and boom. Let's go ahead and hit F10 to save. And let's see if it boots. Come on now, show me something good. Show me something good. Show me something good. Show me something good. Oh, yeah, I think we in there. No, we are not in there. What happened? Okay, so I read a couple of things online. I did see on a website that says that this needs to be disabled. Um, and then we need to go back to the settings. IO ports, um, above 4G decoding needs to be enabled. Resize bar support needs to be on auto. All right, let's hit F10 to save these settings and let's see if we can be able to boot into Windows. And it did not work, okay. Okay, so I figured out what the problem was. Um, did a little research and on Reddit, um, there is uh, this link and I'll make sure I put this in the actual, um, the, the link in the description below. But if you have a gigabyte um, board, which I have the uh, X570 or Master, um, this is what I had to do. And I'm not for sure if you will have to do this for chores, but I just wanna make sure I put this out here. Now I'm not gonna go through all of the details when it comes to this. You would just have to follow the directions the same way that I did. Um, there's no way for me to repeat this <laughs> process. So you could do this at your own discretion. Um, but the issue um, had to deal with um, the actual, my boot drive. Um, switching over from being a master boot record over to a, uh, GUID partition GPT. So it talks about resizable bar needing a UEFI um, boot. Um, and then it goes through, um, if you scroll down, you'll see all of the directions from changing your Windows boot drive from MBR to GPT. Um, and I followed these directions. So when I followed the directions to the T, um, I was able to get back into the BIOS. And when I got back into the BIOS, um, and I changed uh, those settings to what we talked about. So uh, the 4G decoding and then also enabling uh, the resize of a bar. So as I reboot back into the BIOS, I just want to show you the settings again um, that I was able to do. So if I go over to settings, go to IO ports, I enable above 4G decoding, resize bar support is on auto. And then up under boot, I have the CSM support disable. Um, so you need those three things to be done. Um, so after I was able to get my boot drive switched over to GPT, um, I was able to go in here and that's how I was able to get the actual resize bar um, enabled. I was able to get everything up and running. So if we go to the NVIDIA control panel, And we go to system information. And then as you can see right here, resizable bar is finally checked, yes. Um, and so now let's get into the actual benchmarks. So, so the first that we have up is Assassin's Creed and this is before the resizable bar. As you can see, the average FPS is 78 frames per second. And this is on ultra settings, 1440p. Okay, so now let's take a look at Assassin's Creed after the resizable bar being enabled. Same ultra settings, 1440p. Let's go. So from 78 to 91, that's a 15% increase. All right, so now we have Borderlands 3. Um, this is before the resizable bar we was getting 105 FPS, and this is on badass settings. And so let's take a look. 
Okay, so here's Borderlands 3 after we enable resizable bar. And uh, let's see what we got. One twelve. That's a seven percent increase. Okay. Okay. Next up, we have Watchdog Legion. Um, I am on ultra settings, ray tracing on medium, DLSS on quality, and looks like we were able to get an average of seventy four frames per second. Okay. Now this is with the resizable bar enabled and let's take a look to see what we're able to get as far as performance okay so we went from 74 to 82 that's a 10 percent increase um man uh, that's pretty dope okay so i think we can honestly say it is definitely worth it man as you saw in the benchmarks we was able to go from seven percent all the way up to 15 percent uh performance improvement and this was free performance so I'm super stoked about it. Um, obviously, you know, there's other games that you can be able to test out. Um, these are the three that we test out today. Um, I am definitely looking forward to the actual performance games and what the future is going to allow with the new support and stuff that we have here with the resizable bar. So it's definitely worth it. Um, again, uh, I'm sorry I couldn't go over um, switching over from MBR to GPT on the master boot record. Um, but that is definitely something that you have to do at your own risk. <laughs> I would not be responsible for messing up anybody's uh, boot drive for their system and stuff like that. But um, it worked for me. So if you have to go through those steps, definitely follow the links, follow the direction, and um, you should be good to go. But hey, if this video helped you in any type of way, don't forget to hit like, hit subscribe, Hit the bell so you receive all my notifications and definitely let YouTube know that you like your brother. So, hey, I appreciate you and I'll see you in the next video.